Monsieur le Président du Banque Centrale Européenne, Senyor President del Banc de Sabadell, Senyor President de la Fundació Barcelona Graduate School of Economics, professor Salvador Barberà, senyores i senyors, amics tots, és per mi un honor i una satisfacció poder acompanyar-los en aquest acte i així vull manifestar-ho en nom del Govern de Catalunya. Ho és en primer lloc per la importància de les entitats que ens convoquen, el Banc de Sabadell, i la Barcelona Graduate School of Economics, a les que vull felicitar per l'encert d'organitzar aquesta conferència. And it is a great honor and a pleasure, of course, for the opportunity to share this event with such a relevant authority as the president of the European Central Bank, Mr. Jean-Claude Trichet. Monsieur Jean-Claude Trichet is, as you all know, the president of the European Central Bank since the 1st of November 2003, and he has been in charge of significant responsibilities in his country and in the European institutions. We are very pleased that he can be here with us today in a moment when the change in the economic cycle and the uncertainties in the financial markets make it necessary more than ever to listen to authorized opinions such as his. At present, it is nine years since the European Central Bank was created in 1999. The balance of this period is extraordinarily positive for the whole of Europe, and especially for Spain. The integration of Spain into the Eurozone has supposed for us a long period of stability, exception exceptionally low interest rates, and reduced inflation. Since then, our inflation rates have been much lower, of course, than the ones that we used to have is historically in Spain. And I want to underline, now than, that it's so, sometimes questioned, the importance of the clear and unambiguous commitment of the European Central Bank to maintain price stability. The latest, the latest forecasts predict that the inflation rate will clearly moderate in the next month. But this will only happen if we can avoid the idea that we are going into a new inflationary period because the expectation itself could drive, at the end of the day, to a generalized increase in costs. Therefore, it is important, very important, to, to give the message that we will firmly pursue price stability by the most suitable means. And above all, I would like to stress that the Euro and the European Central Bank have offered us a framework of stability, and stability is a key factor for the economic activity. That is why it is so important, the commitment of the European Central Bank with stability, an essential condition for growth and prosperity in our countries. The creation of the Euro and the European Central Bank are achievements, with no doubt, of a vast economic significance. But at the same time, they represent a big step forward in the political dimension of Europe. That is, if political integration means to share sovereignty, it would be very difficult to find a step forward political integration more important than a common currency. Europe is growing and progressing by creating and consolidating shared institutions. From this point of view, the European Central Bank is probably one of the main achievements that Europe has reached and one of the most significant reasons of proud for those of us who believe in the cause of Europeism. It is a demonstration that Europe is stronger when it is united. And it is also the evidence that in very important fields, only European institutions can play a double role. On the one hand, to truly serve the interests of European citizens, and on the other hand, to make it possible that Europe can become a real global player. It is by creating more institutions, such as the European Central Bank, that we will really contribute to build Europe. The European Central Bank plays its role, and it plays it well. We cannot expect 
the European Central Bank to work out all the problems we have. Other institutions should do, each one in its own area, what the European Central Bank has done in the monetary field. We need to foster an increasingly integrated Europe in political terms, and institutions are the expression of this integration. And it is through the checks and balances between institutions that societies work and progress. Merci, Monsieur le Président Jean-Claude Trichet, pour, uh, par vot pour votre tâche et pour nous montrer les chemins pour avancer réellement dans une Europe plus unie chaque, chaque fois au service de nos citoyens. Merci, Monsieur le Président.